Hey there guys, today we will be reviewing titanium products. These are from TieSurvival.com and these are perfect, these are great. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10 review on everything. Um, I have here a, a titanium Kubaton custom anodization and a titanium uh, waterproof capsule. Now, first I will be doing the capsule because I will, on the Cubaton I will be doing tests, um, and the capsule I will be doing tests too, but I will do, be doing a waterproof test. And I don't want to knock all this water around I have over here in this bowl. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, he is a great guy. All of his things are custom made. In fact, here I have his website right here. Uh, this is what his website looks like. Uh, come on, focus then. Storms are on it. But um, he has all of these products. Just go to his website. It will be down below. And or he has custom anodizations. Uh, that's the Kubaton. Uh, he has fire pistons, lighters. And then the capsule I have today is called the Son of Expo um, Tube Titanium Waterproof Capsule. That's the standard look right there. Um, but he does custom anodization. So for this waterproof capsule, oh yeah, by the way, this is what it will look like when you get it in the mail. Of course, it'll be in an envelope, but it comes with two um, O-rings, orange O-rings. Here's one extra one. And then the other one is on it right now. And this is the anodization he did for me, which is awesome. Um, go ahead and put that back in there. And as you see, I haven't, there, it comes with one O ring on it right now. And nothing, nothing comes inside. But I'll go ahead and open it up for you. Right now, I just put in some uh, Strike Anywhere matches. And for the waterproof test, I'll take these matches out. And I will put in a napkin, I mean a uh, tissue paper, uh, to show that it is waterproof. And I'll be soaking it inside. That's what the uh, cap looks like. And also it does have a uh, lanyard hole, perfect size for a uh, paracord lanyard. And just screw it back on here. It is titanium against titanium, so it will squeak until it gets down to the O-ring, which it will tighten up very nice and snug. Go ahead and just dunk it in there. As you see, no bubbles are coming up whatsoever, so that means it is waterproof as of now, until you see bubbles come up, which no bubbles will come up, so I'll go ahead and take it out. And titanium is rust-proof, so... see in there nothing is uh, wet inside there so achoo nothing's wet whatsoever that was a fake sneeze if you couldn't tell but uh can you see in there yep there you go that's what it looks like inside go twist that back on now, on his uh, website, he does the length by millimeters um, and the inside diameter too, but, and I do not have a ruler here with me. What is that? See, I don't see a spare ruler on the ground anywhere. So, I mean, that's how big it is. His website looks way smaller, but trust me, it's a palm's length and then some of a, uh, of titanium. I mean this is great. It is very lightweight too. Uh, I will put this in my life jacket um, wherever I need it. When I take, I'll take it hunting, put it in my hunting bag, uh, you know whatever. Whatever that I think I need is important that I do not need water on. Let's go ahead and pour this water out.
Got to drink some before you throw it out. I'm a little thirsty here out in Florida heat with a storm rolling in. And then now we will go on to this titanium cubiton. This is another custom anodization. And this also has the standard checkering on it. Checkering on it. Now with the cubiton, you want to make sure you get it with the grips on it, the checkering, because if not you will get it, uh, it will become polished and your finger slips very easily and when you're going to go uh, grip it this checkering makes you have a lot of grip whereas if you see down here my finger just slides and that's without the checkering it just slides so this also has a lanyard hole so you can put it on your keys uh, wear it as a um, a necklace uh, like quick release so you can take it off but of course it would be under your shirt or you can wear it on top but it's a very nice pommel weapon this is how long it is it's a palm and a half it very solid grip for a comparison here I have a block of wood that I will take a hammer to and show you the difference in between the damage. So right here, barely any damage. Now, this also has a kind of pointed tip. Kind of pointed tip, but it's blunt at the same time. I'm going to show you the damage here right there it's a huge dent I mean if that was someone's chest that would hurt or their temple there is the second one I just did and man is that deep this is solid wood too this is not fresh because when you get it fresh it's all moist and stuff and I did I did the uh, strength the same amount in fact I probably did the hammer a lot more because it has more weight but right here is the second hammering I just did right here and as you see man that cubiton very strong I mean this is way better than any plastic cubiton uh, that you might get from County Com or something like that this thing it is sick I mean it does not hurt your hands at all I'm hitting solid wood and it's not hurting my thumb or anything you can hold jab somebody like that I mean I mean it is very nice tiesurvival.com the blunt end is not destroyed at all and the uh, guy's name is called Esteban his name is Esteban um, I'm not going to give you his contact info because if you're serious, you will go find his contact info on his website. Um, but I give all of his products a 5 out of 5 here. Son of Expo Tube Capsule. Titanium Cubiton. Custom anodization. He also does polishing and um, sandblasting. I mean, this guy's like... This is an awesome business he has. Uh, if you guys want any other tests done to both of these items here uh, go ahead and comment and I will go ahead and do it. Uh, say you want like a depth of how far this uh, capsule will go or another stress test on this Cubiton just comment down below and you hear the thunder going in so uh, I will see you all later in the next video.